Hey everybody, Sarah Grillo here, back again. So um, I'm answering the April questions here. Sorry this is a little bit late. Had a lot of business growth last month and just haven't had time to do this, but I'm answering all your questions. If you have questions for me about financial marketing, about the CFA exam, passing the CFA exam, advancing your career in the field of finance, please post them here and I'm happy to respond. So um, today's question, number one, Sheb, Hendu Senroy. Hi, Sarah. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for saying that. Um, I am a postdoctorate researcher and I have some questions for you. Do you think I could email them to you? No, because I only answer questions that are posted here to my channel. Um, if you want my CFA study planner or my earnings models, that's another thing, then you can email me, saragrillo at hotmail.com. I'm going to put it in the summary box below. But don't email, me, don't email me questions there because like I don't have time to respond to everybody and type out the email, so I just do it via video. Question from Ritu... Sorry about this. Ritwik Barua. Hello, ma'am. I'm Ritwik Barua from India. Sorry, I butchered your name there. I'm pursuing the Chartered Accountancy course here in India. Um, I'm inclined to pursue the CFA along with the CA and build a career in finance, but ma'am, I am currently 24 years of age. Is it too late for me to be taking such a big step? Given that in India, in Indian rupees, it is a huge investment in the CFA. And on top of that, I've wasted three years of my academic career as I was busy with sporting activities. Um, you're making this too complicated. Uh, if you're looking to get into portfolio management, I don't recommend waiting much longer because when you come in, you come in at an entry level. If you're going to be having jobs or waiting much longer and you're going to enter in your 30s, then they're going to really expect you to be coming to the table with so much more. So I would say don't wait too much longer to start your CFA studies. You know, it's never too late, but it's just going to make things a little bit harder the longer you wait because of how, how it works in the field. Um, if I understand you properly, the CFA is not enough to get a job in finance. Correct. This is from Michu Hibik. Um, in order to get it, we need to work. If we need to work, we need to have what others don't kind of competitive. Yes, okay, you need to have a competitive advantage. So this person, Michu, is just saying what I'm saying all the time in my videos is that the CFA is not enough. It's not um, enough. It can open the door and get you attention, but it's not enough to get you the job, and it's certainly not enough to make you successful at the job once you get it, whether it be portfolio management or any job in finance. So you really need to have that brand, that distinguishing advantage, that something that is very distinct about you from the other people, no matter what you're doing. Um, Biswahit Vaishya. Hello, I'm from India, pursuing Indian Chartered Accountancy course. Everybody's taking this course, apparently. I want to get into investment banking. If I clear the CFA, can I get a job in investment banking? Stop asking me these questions, okay? Look at my videos about this. The CFA is not enough to get you a job. Um, are Italy and Germany good for finance jobs? From Saheed H., Look, there's demand everywhere if you're going to supply the correct skills and the correct brand. The problem and the reason people have trouble finding jobs is that they often do not differentiate themselves or display enough value in what they are having to offer. Now, any country in the world, you're going to have that problem, okay? Um, Pariti Kaitan, I'm appearing for the CFA Level 2, Level 3, I've started with fixed income and is fixed income and equity for level three, but I'm not really able to get my head around these subjects. I've never managed a portfolio. Could you give me some suggestions as I could change my holistic view? Get your money out and start managing. You need to create a paper portfolio. If you have no money, if you're broke, create an imaginary portfolio. If you have money, then start to kind of look at it and think about, well, what would be the asset allocation here? How would I create an investment policy statement? What are the risks that I'm looking to manage as I govern this portfolio? What are the return expectations that I have for my own money? Okay, real world. Um, okay. So then another, a bunch of other people are asking me for like, okay, what if you did not take the exams th three from Benjing traits? Um, what if you did not take the exam three years in a row, but passed all of them at the first attempt? Okay. Whatever. I don't even understand that question. Sorry. Just please 
Benjamin Trades, clarify your question here. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, again, so sorry for being a little bit absent for a while. Bye.